Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In the last video, we switched out my UDM Pro for the NetGate 6100. Well, today we're gonna revert those changes and bring back in the UDM Pro. The reason for this, I just really love the UDM Pro and I don't really need advanced routing, whole home VPN, and all the other features that the NetGate 6100 can give us. Hopefully Ubiquity addresses the problems with the PPPoE issue in a firmware update, but I'm still getting about 600 megabits per second even with that issue, which is more than enough for my home office. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, make sure to hit the bell icon if you'd like to hire us for network consulting visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You'd find us on Instagram at Mac Telecom Networks, and we have a Discord server, which I'll put a link in the description below. So last week I factory defaulted my UDM Pro, so we need to load a backup into it and then push all of my unified devices into its controller through a command line. First, I need to get the WAN connection plugged into port nine on my UDM Pro. All right, now my computer is plugged into the UDM Pro and we have the internet connection going into the WAN port. We need to get to the UDM Pro. So I'll type in 192.168.1.1. Now it's showing us the UDM Pro. So UI is committed to protecting your privacy. We'll press set up UDM Pro. And then we need to give it a name. I'll call it Mac Telecom. And then we'll agree to the terms and services and press next. You could select the setup type, personal or business. I'll just leave it as personal and press next. And then we need to sign in with our single sign-on. So I'm gonna fill in the information and then press next. Okay, in this next screen, it's asking us to select for a backup. And that's because I pushed my backups to the Unify Cloud. And I'll show you how to do that once we get through here. So I'm gonna pick my most recent backup, which was on August 22nd. And it's just for my Unify Network application and then we'll press restore. The restore has now been completed. We could see download backup, users, Unify network, and cloud configuration. And we could see Mac Telecom UDMP. We have my network controller and we also have protect, which I don't use because I have a UNBR. To get the cloud backups enabled, we need to go to system settings and then click advanced. We scroll down to the bottom, it will show us right here that backup console. So this will just back up our network controller only. And you could specify which time you wanna do it, also, you could just back up now and that will trigger a backup immediately. Now, if we take a look at all of our devices, we could see that they've all adopted fail, except the one, the backyard switch, that may not have been pushed out to my Hostify controller. So what we need to do, we could click on the devices. So this is my Ag Switch Pro and then click on the plus button to adopt. Under here, we'll put our username and password. So it will be YouTube and then the password will be YouTube1234 and we'll press adopt. Now I need to go ahead and do that for the rest of the devices. Now we can see all of our devices connected or provisioning into our UDM Pro controller. So we're pretty much done. If we go take a look at my settings, we could see all the existing networks that I had created were pushed back into the UDM Pro controller from that backup. Same with my wireless networks. I'm hoping when the UDM Pro SC comes out, they're gonna release firmware updates that give us more features for the UDM Pro and the UDM Pro SE. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I am really happy with the UDM Pro, even though there's been some bugs. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.